Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to, we're going to solve IGCSE chemistry uh, topical questions. Uh, we're going to focus on organic chemistry and uh, these questions are from 2024. Let's begin. I'll write the first question. This one is from uh, winter 2024. So the question says, which compounds have similar chemical properties? And we have a bunch of organic compounds. Now the key to do here is look at the last, uh, last letters. The suffixes are the same this one is alcohol and carboxylic acid they, they are from different groups so they do not have sem similar chemical properties ane and ene alkane and alkene so no then we have ane and ane so these are both alkane groups they have similar chemical properties next four statements about organic compounds p q r and s are listed so you have to say which statement about these compounds is correct now they're saying p is a saturated hydrocarbon this is an alkane next the formula for q is ch3 ch3 let's write it down to identify the group uh, which group is it from okay this is also an alkane next a molecule of r contains only one oxygen atom okay so this is not a hydrocarbon an alcohol right oh next compound s is a carboxylic acid okay which statement is correct p and q are members of a different homologous series um, that's not correct. Next, P and S are members of the same homologous series. Where is P and S? P is an alkane carboxylic acid, so not again. Uh, Q and S are the uh, same. Q and S, no alkane and carboxylic acid. Q, R and S are different are from different homologous series. Q is alkane, alcohol, and carboxylic acid, so it's going to be D. Next. The structure of an organic compound is shown. What is the name of this compound? Okay, so right away you can see that this has no double bond, so this is not an ethene. No or a hydroxyl group, this is not an alcohol as well, and of course not a carboxylic acid. So this is chloroethane. We have one chlorine. Which statement about the manufacture of ethene from larger alkane molecule is correct? Okay, so a larger molecule alkane is broken down to give to give us ethene, so it's obviously going to be cracking. Uh, does it work at low temperature no uh, it's called cracking does this process require oxygen it does not and water is also a product no water is not a product the only products are either alkanes or alkenes which uh, processes are used to make ethanoic acid first is heating ethanol with acidified potassium manganate so this is um an oxidizing agent ethanol will oxidize to ethanoic acid so yes we have one Next, bacterial oxidation of ethanol. Ethanol will oxidize to ethanoic acid, so yes. Finally, distilling ethanol using a fractionating column. Actually, no, because this is just fractional distillation. Uh, this will uh, separate ethanol from other liquids. So the answer is A. Which statement about propene is correct? The first one says that propene reacts with bromine in the dark in the substitution reaction. Well, first of all, substitution reaction occurs in sunlight, and that is for alkanes, not alkenes. So we don't have A. Propene reacts with steam in the presence of an alkaline catalyst forming an alcohol. Well, um, um, propene does undergo hydration to form an alcohol, but the conditions are different. It's going to be phosphoric acid. So it should be an acidic catalyst. B is wrong. The other condition for um, hydration reaction is 300 degrees Celsius and 60 atm. So no. Propene undergoes addition polymerization. Yes, it does. To form polyethene, no, it produces polypropene. So not this as well. Propene undergoes an addition reaction to form an alkane. That's correct. The double bonds break and an alkene turns into an alkane. So the answer is D. How many types of bond are present in the ethanoic acid? So we can quickly uh, draw this, draw the structural formula. CH3, C, double bond O, OH. So how many uh, CH bond do we have? We have one, two, three. Three CH bonds, so it's either A or B. CC bond, we only have one CC bond, so this is going to be A. And uh, there's also a one C double bond O bond. Which diagram represents the structure of a protein? Remember, our proteins have amide linkage, C double bond O and H. So the first one does have amide linkage and the last one. These two do not, so B and C can be eliminated. Then if we look at the edges, at the ends, this is C double bond O, but this is also C double bond O. We can't have two, we need to have an H. So this is going to be D, 37 is D. 
Next. Which statement about compounds in the same homologous series is correct? They have same chemical properties because they have same number of carbon atoms. No, as you go down, carbon atoms are increasing, for example, from ethane to propane to butane. So it's not A. Next, they have same physical properties because they have same number of carbon atoms. Again, no, they don't have same number of carbon atoms. They have different chemical properties because they have different number of carbon atoms. Um, they do not have different chemical properties. They have similar chemical properties and different number of carbon atoms. Do they, they have different physical properties because they have different number of carbon atoms? Yes. They have different physical properties. As you go down, the density is increasing. The melting and boiling point are increasing. So it's D. Next, which row shows the properties of methane? Okay, remember methane is a gas, so it's either A or B. Um, does it give a positive result with aqueous bromine? No, because this is a test for, for alkenes. So it's um, not going to give us a positive result. It only gives a positive result when you have an alkene. The answer is going to be A, 33A. Next, the table shows two methods used to make ethanol, either fermentation or addition of st uh, steam to ethane. Which statement gives an advantage of preparing ethanol by fermentation rather than adding steam to ethane? So let's see. Um, this one, a fermentation is produced in batch. Addition of steam is continuous. So this is not an advantage of fermentation. Next. Temperature is only 35, while here it is 300 degrees Celsius. So it's going to be little energy is used. 34 is B. Let, let's look at the other one. Uh, it needs less pressure. That can be an advantage as well sugar cane that's also an advantage because uh it's a renewable source compared to petroleum so fermentation takes several days to complete uh, this is not an advantage little energy is used it is an advantage the fermentation of glucose from sugar cane produces pure et ethanol no it does not produce pure ethanol um, carbon dioxide is also produced and you need to filter out yeast from the mixture next fermentation uses a non-renewable raw material no it uses a renewable source which is sugar cane next which equation represents an addition reaction um for addition reaction you can remember this that uh, with addition reaction we only have one product so if you look at all of them only a has one product if you look at b c uh, this is an alkane and it's reacting with bromine this is a substitution reaction c is thermal decomposition and d is cracking Next, the structure of the part of a polymer is shown here. How many amide and ester linkages are included in the structure? Okay, remember um, amide is CO and H, so we have one amide linkage and we have another amide linkage, so we have two amide linkages. And for ester, it's C double C O O, C double bond O and O, and we only have one. So this is going to be 36 is C. Next. Uh, which structure represents part of a protein? Remember, uh, we need a amide linkage. Only A and C have these, C double bond O and H. But if you look here, we have two C double bond O. So, so it's not going to be this, it's going to be this. C O and H. C -O -N -H. This is the general structure of an amino acid. Next question. Which piece of apparatus can, o can only measure a single fixed volume? Beaker, burette, and measuring cylinder have a range of volumes that you can measure from. A volumetric pipette is the only apparatus that can measure a single fixed volume. So for example, a 25 centimeter cube volumetric pipette can only accurately measure 25 centimeter cube, not less or more. All right, these questions are from May, June, 2024. First one, which formula represents an alkene? Remember the general formula for alkene is CnH2n. So the first one um, is an alkane. The second one is correct, CnH2n. If you look at the others, this is also an alkane and the last one is an alcohol. So 33 is going to be B. Uh, which structures of two compounds are used to make an ester as shown? Okay, so we have a carboxylic acid and an ester. What is the name of this ester? Always remember, when you're naming esters, the first one with YL uh, suffix should be the alcohol. And uh, the second one is the carboxylic acid. So if you see, we have one, two, um, two carbons with the alcohol group. So this is ethyl. So it's either A or C. And then uh, with, for carboxylic acid, we have three carbons. So this is going to be propanoic acid. 
Our answer is ethyl propanoate. Some people confuse this with propyl ethanoate. Next question. Which statement about a homologous series is correct? All numbers have the same general formula? Yeah, that's right. Alkanes have same general formula. Alcohols have same general formula. And so on. Do, uh, do they have the same molecular formula? No, they do not. The molecular formula changes because number of carbon atoms change, hydrogen atoms, and so on. Uh, they change as well. All members have similar physical properties. No, they do not. As you go down, the density, melting, and boiling point increase as the number of carbon atoms increase. Metals show a trend in their chemical properties. No, they do not show a trend in chemical properties. The chemical properties are same. Only the physical properties change. Next question. Which statement about aqueous ethanoic acid are correct? It contains the functional group C double bond OH. That's correct. Um, carboxylic as all carboxylic acid have this uh, group. It reacts with carbonates to produce hydrogen. It does not. Uh, carbonates plus carb uh, plus ethanoic acid produce carbon dioxide, not hydrogen. Next, it turns universal indicator paper blue. It does not turn it blue. The carboxylic acids are weak acid, so it turns either orange or yellow. So we don't have this as well. It has a pH lower than 7. Yes, acids have pH lower than 7. So the answer is going to be C. 1 and 4 are correct. Next question. Alkenes react with steam in an addition reaction. Okay. Some alkenes produce only one alcohol product, while other alkenes produce two different alcohols, with which are structural isomers. Okay. Which row gives the number of alcohol isomers formed when ethene reacts with steam and when propene reacts with steam? So uh, they're asking when ethene reacts with steam, we get ethanol, and then when propene reacts with steam, we get propanol. We have to see how many um, isomers are formed with ethanol and propanol. With ethanol, we only have one isomer. Of whether this hydroxyl group is here or here, here, anywhere, it's all, they're all same, so the isomer is only one. So it's either A or B. What about propene or propanol? Okay, here we can, uh, for propanol, we can either have the hydroxyl group on the first carbon or the, uh, the third carbon is going to be same because we count from the carbon that is closest to it. So, the, uh, so this is one isomer. Another isomer would be that the OH group is on the second carbon. And then we have our hydrogen. This is another isomer. So we have two isomers. 37 is going to be B, one for ethanol, one for propanol. What is the advantage of uh, manufacturing ethanol by fermentation rather than by addition of steam to ethene? Okay, as a quick reminder, ethanol is produced by two ways, either by fermentation or by addition of steam to ethene. So they're asking what is the benefit of making ethanol by fermentation rather than by addition of steam. So the first option is no gases that cause uh, global warming are produced. That's wrong. When um, a yeast ferments ethanol, uh, carbon dioxide is also produced. So it's not A. Next, ethanol that is produced is pure. That is uh, pure only when it's produced by addition of steam. So this is not an advantage by fermentation. Next, fermentation is a fast process. No, it's a slow process. Finally, fermentation uses renewable raw materials. That's correct. It can be made by sugar cane. So D. Next, this diagram shows the structure of a polymer. Which structure represents the monomer of this polymer? Okay, so you have to identify where it repeated. So we have C. We can say we can draw a line here. And then the next one. And then here. So let's say this is the monomer. So the double bond would be here. Let's uh, draw this uh, here on the side. C, double bond C. And then we have CH3. And then this hydrogen. On the other side, we have CH. We can draw this on the right side. Let's compare with where it matches. This one is exactly the same as this one. Next question. What is the disadvantage of producing ethanol using a catalytic addition of steam to ethene? So uh, we're not producing ethanol by fermentation. We're producing ethanol by addition of steam to ethene. So the energy cost is low? No. Actually, the energy cost is high. So we don't have this. Uh, the process is continuous yes so this is an advantage not a disadvantage 
The process uses a non-renewable raw material. That's ro that's right. It use it can be made by petroleum. So uh, thirty six is C. Uh, fermentation, on the other hand, is produced can be produced by sugarcane. Uh, th the ethanol is pure, yes, so this is an advantage, not a disadvantage. The formula of five compounds are listed. You have to say which compounds are in the same hom homologous series. Okay, so we can uh, quickly see that 2, 3, and, f uh, and 5 end with OH group, hydroxyl group. So these are alcohols. We can say 2, 3, and 5, so this is going to be B. If you look at 1, this is an alkane. And um, number four is a carboxylic acid. So it's not one and four. Next, propane reacts with chlorine. All right, which statement about this reaction are correct? So this is a substitution reaction. One hydrogen is uh, substituted with chlorine. Ultraviolet use is uh, light is used to provide the activation energy. For substitution reaction, we have sunlight. So it's going to be either A or B. We can cancel C and D. Propane undergoes an addition reaction? No. Addition reaction is only for alkenes. This is an alkane, ends with A and E. Next, one of the products is CH3CH2Cl. It could be a product if we had three carbons. Here we only have two carbons, so we're not losing the carbon for in propane to get two carbons. So not three as well. One of the products is HCl. Yes, it is. So the answer is one and four, B.